Hi there guys, Joe Pet here, and today I'm going to show you how to import skins and textures into Minecraft Pocket Edition. This is not a new thing, this is something I discovered recently. So like, see, uh, my skin is actually Link, and the other player on my Wi-Fi server is Link, so if you see right there, he sees me as Steve. I'm doing this on an iPad too, but it also works on iPod 4th generation, I know for sure, because I'm testing it. Let me show you this texture pack real quick, this is a border craft. Let me just get out here real quick. Okay, so you see the flowers look so different. Just want to kind of prove to y'all because I didn't really believe it until I actually did it. Let me find the pigs and they look really different too. But this is styled after Borderlands. You see that, hey, look at me, cow. Yeah, hey, cow, stop moving. There you go. See the cow and the freaking, the pigs look evil. Look at me. Hey, look at me. Yeah, you're evil looking. Yeah, it's good. Go cry home with your mama. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, show you how to do this real quick. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is plug in your iDevice using your USB cord that you charge with or connect to iTunes with. And just plug that in. And you'll hear that magical bloop. And then go ahead and unlock your, your screen if it pops that up. And then what you're going to want to do is download iExplorer. And I'll put the link in the description. If you don't know how to download a program, you probably shouldn't be doing this sort of thing. But let me go ahead and I'll click off of that. Dear the user, blah, blah, blah. Okay, close. Thank you. And what you're going to look for is Minecraft in your directory here. And it's uh, .mojang, or however you say it. There we go. Now, uh, you're going to go over to Minecraft app right here. And it's going to open that up. Now just move this over. And go ahead and uh, find you know, some sort of texture pack. Like I go to Planet Minecraft. And I'm going to use this Zelda's texture pack right here. So I already uh, downloaded it. So let me go ahead and open it real quick. There it is. Okay, so what you want to do is go through everything and pick the things that you know that are in the uh, Pocket Edition. Like uh, grass, you know, grass is there, and then particles, that's there, terrain is there, water is there. I don't know about water still and flowing, but I'm going to copy it anyways. And then I'm just going to drag and drop that. Boop. And it's going to ask you, do you want to replace these files, delete the old ones? Go ahead and say yes, or okay to everything. So actually, the only two that I did copy that were different, actually, in the Minecraft were the two that it prompts me on. Okay, so you go to art. No, that's not one of them. Then you go through these file folders and find the ones that you need that are actually in here. Like GUI is in here. Um, you may or may not want to do that because it erases the, uh, puts a little outline on the arrows, the little D-pad, because it's not in the PC version, obviously. But I'm going to go ahead and do that for inventory, icons, items, particles, slot, and I don't know what trap is. So let's go ahead and drag and drop again. You want to replace this? Okay. Icons? Okay. Inventory? Okay. Items? Okay. Particles? Okay. I'm going to go back up again and look at items. Uh, door? Yes. Door is the only thing. So let's go ahead and uh, drag and drop that. And go over here and let's do miscellaneous. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Grass color. Grass color. I don't know if there's even a vignette or anything. Let's do water again just to make sure. Yeah, water was the only one. Grass color didn't count. Okay. So mob. Okay, this one we have chicken, we have cow, we have uh, sheep, pig, and of course, le zombie. Hello, zombie. There we go. Chicken, cow, pig, sheep, zombie. There we go. Okay, so let's just go up here and in terrain. Uh, see, you don't need terrain. None of this stuff's going to be any different because you don't have sun and moon in, in the pocket edition yet. So you should be all set. Uh, I haven't seen lava in the game, but let's see dirt PNG. I, th I think I did all that. Oh well, um, let's go ahead and do that. 
And let me go ahead and do the skin as well. Show y'all how to do that. I'm going to go with Stormtrooper. Why not? Okay, and click on Download Skin. And it's going to be this. Okay, go ahead and uh, I'm going to open the show and folder. And there it is right there. I'm going to change the name of that to car. And dot PNG. I guess it's already a PNG. Okay, car. We're going to do that. I get a car. Okay. So now that that's there, I need to go bring this back up. I'm going to drag and drop. Boop. Yes. Replace. Okay. Now I'm going to just gonna switch back to the iPod and the iPad. So now I have the Zelda craft on here, like this right here. Instead of a pickaxe, it's actually a hammer. I get the master sword. So even the trees look different in the stone. And if you see on my screen, I look like a stormtrooper, and he looks like a stormtrooper too. I have Ganondorf on my iPod, so that's what I see on my iPod. Let me zoom in on my iPod. Now, the only downside is, for some reason, the GUI get messed up to where you can't see the you can't see the D-pad anymore, and it's really disconcerting. But you see, there's a big difference. I can't remember what texture pack this is. I think it's some photorealism pack, but it's a really cool pack. I like it. Uh, that's, that's not bad. It looks like a real pig. So that's it. That's how easy it is, guys. Now, I'd like to warn you guys, this is modding in a way, so if you uh, make sure and back up your, you know, your world files before doing this, so if you have to reinstall Minecraft, then you can just drag and drop that just to, like we did the earlier, the other stuff. But hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching, you guys. Y'all have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Skizzle!